Crooks Brothers was initiated in the 1860s when Samuel Crooks first planted cane at Renshaw on the KwaZulu-Natal South Coast. It listed on the JSE in 1948 and today produces a range of primary agricultural products. It has a market capitalization of 631 million, a price to earnings ratio of 8.7 and a dividend yield of 3.9. And I know very little about Crooks Brothers. Can you enlighten me? Uh, One of you. Well, it's a very nice business. Uh, it's not in a lot of people's uh, radars because the liquidity in the stock is so low. Um, so people often stay away from it, but they've got really good uh, sugar cane. Uh, they do a lot of uh, deciduous fruits and, and, and fruit as well. All in a tell, they've uh, just branched out into Zambia. Uh, they've also got leasing rights in Mozambique for some more um, uh, 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 sugar cane. So a really good business. They pay a good dividend yield. They've given a return of 15% return on uh, shareholders' equity over the last five or six years. So really nice, but just no liquidity in You're going to battle to get hold of it then? Yeah, I'm not quite sure why the stock liquidity is so bad. I mean, the major shareholder is RMB, so Pierre Joubert looks after that. Then there's some uh, people, old friends of ours, like Malcolm Rutherford and Anthony Hewitt are on the board. Michael, Malcolm Rutherford, obviously, Didata. Ex-Didata guy FD. that went to the Cape and I think, in fact, got involved with the fruit marketing business because those fruit businesses are down in the Cape in that sort of Napier and Robertson and Grabo area. So some big names but behind Crooks Brothers. Yeah, and, you know, 700-odd million market caps, not tiny, but unfortunately it's had earnings volatility as a function of you know good times and bad times they had a case where they were selling some land in the commodity port area to the government for land redistribution which got done and then the supreme court had to be called on to kind of close the deal you know land redistribution and land development in this country is quite a complex and tiresome business and yet another issue facing farmers out there yeah so in this case it could be actually be a plus because some of the agricultural land is pending for conversion to housing and that sort of thing a bit like tongot but yes, uh, limited volatility, stock earnings up and down. So could this be though? All right. Now we're saying, what are we at at the moment? Just under 56 rand 50. Yeah, what, 51. 55? I think 51. the five-year high and low is like 30 rand and 54. So been bumbling around here. Could this become a giant of the future, the 10 bagger of the future? Um, it could. Um, they they're at a size where they'll need to to get some acquisitions. They're not big enough to to compete with. Uh, uh, some of the big Cape farmers, uh, but there, there is a possibility there. Uh, how do you get that stock and will R&B unbundle it at a, f at a future rate? So if they unbundle it there, then maybe there will be you know, uh, quite a lot of uh, revenue that then you can get Then buy, buy in like wildfire if we see <laughs> the unbundling. Is that the yeah. status quo here? Maybe. Look, I mean, agricultural production, like we said earlier, problematic. I didn't even know that there'd been a drought in the KZN in the last few years, but that has apparently been a reality. So now they're starting to diversify. They can get the most favored nation status thing if they export from Mozambique. So it's like a mini Tongart or a mini Ilovo, potentially. But I would call up some of those directors and ask them what they think rather than just stumbling out here on national TV. And is that something yes, that so we can do in the, in the show, in future shows? Will we get a little... Either that or if you, the investor, the watcher of tonight's show, were considering it, you can phone. Oh, you weren't saying that we were <laughs> going to phone. I see, I see. I thought we were going to change the format of the show. Just phone up old Malcolm Rutherford there and get his thoughts on Cook's Brothers. Anyway, for another...